Nintendo has always had a thing for putting quirky hardware in their games, rumble motors in the Game Boy cartridges being one of them. They made quite a few rumble motor games for the Game Boy Color, but for some reason not very many for the Game Boy Advance. WarioWare Twisted, one of the two Game Boy Advance games that had rumble, the other being Drill Dozer, is a very unique Game Boy game, as it not only has rumble, but the game is able to sense which way you're tilting it. The rumble motor in this copy of WarioWare doesn't seem to be working anymore, so in this video we're going to see what we can do about that. So I read up a little bit and it seems that I should be able to replace the broken vibrating motor in the game with one of these little motors I found online. They're advertised as cell phone motors, and they seem to be the same ones. These are a bit different than the motors used in the Game Boy Color games as those are rotating motors like the ones you might find in a PS2 or a GameCube controller. They're smaller, obviously, and not quite as strong. As you can see here, I'm not getting any rumble, nothing, no sound, no rumble on that at all. So let's go ahead and pop this game open and take a look. All right, so we can see the little rumble motor is right here on the left. I believe this is the motor that calibrates if you're holding it to the left or to the right. So let's go ahead and pop this out of here. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out between these. Okay, that looks good. Actually, I might not even need to. Let's try leaving that in because all we need to do is take this rumble out it's right here. So let's pop that back in and go ahead and pull this out. So let's compare. Okay, so this one does seem a little bit smaller, the one that I got. A little bit smaller than this one but it should be fine. Let's see. And it looks like it's a red and blue wire, so we'll just go ahead and solder the red one where the red one goes, and then the black one where this blue one is. Pops right off. So there is that. Go ahead and take this little rubber piece off. So I'm going to set this to the side and then let's go ahead and wrap this. Okay, so it almost fits. It's basically the same size. It's not falling out of there. It's, it's a little bit smaller. As you can see, but not by much. Looks like a good amount. Okay, I'm going to solder those right back where they were. And there we have that. Let's go ahead and set it back in its little spot right there and get the cover back on. Grab my Game Boy. Alright, so it is working now. It's hard to show. There's a little bit of a rattle in there now. It's not as strong as I think the original one probably is. You could probably get better results with a little bit bigger rumble, but honestly it feels pretty good. It's a very subtle rumble, but I would say this is a fix. I did try installing one of these motors to replace the motor in a Game Boy Color game, and it does work. It isn't really as effective, but when I added a second one, it was actually pretty close to the strength of the original rumble. And there is room to fit two inside of the cartridge housing, so in theory this could be a cheap fix for the GBC rumble carts as well. I'd probably put them up here, and then you could probably fit both of them right in here honestly, but this is just to show you could also fit them in the front. Thanks for watching guys, I'm glad we could get this copy of WarioWare back to being as obnoxious as possible like Nintendo intended. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, what do I do? Oh. My dumbass actually came to blow into this. <laughs> Goodbye. What well, am I supposed to do? Oh, son of a bitch. Tilt the Game Boy. This or no, this? Let's... <laughs> oh, son of a freaking screw. I think it's about movie time, pizza time. That looks like me. That looks, that's my ass. That's me right there. <laughs>